Know the secrets of medical marijuana grow rooms. A well-planned grow room will be easier to work in and leaves less room for costly mistakes and accidents. Legal medical marijuana grow rooms can be anything from a bedroom closet to a customized grow box. Lately, it seems that everyone wants to know how to grow quality medical marijuana, which requires the highest quality soil, control of light, heat, humidity, and many more factors in order to create the perfect indoor growing conditions. In a recent Gallup poll, support for legalizing marijuana has been increasing over the past several years, rising to 50% today, the highest on record. If this current trend on legalizing marijuana continues, pressure may build to bring the nation's laws into compliance with people's wishes. With legalization becoming a popular trend, and not to mention an increased demand for marijuana, people need to know what the secrets are of good marijuana grow rooms. Professional marijuana grow rooms many times require that you rehab your home from top to bottom, from electrical panels to air conditioning and circulation to security risk, to ensure your home is really a safe and secure place for your marijuana grow. Indoor grow room operating costs, growing supplies and equipment, water source, and nutrients are some of the main concerns when designing your grow room. You will learn that there are numerous ways to design your room or growing space to meet your medical marijuana needs. Selecting a good location. You need to make sure the size of a room chosen can accommodate all of the plants you want to grow. According to Wikipedia, a grow room is a room of any size where plants are grown under controlled condition. The reasons for utilizing a grow room are countless. A good place to set up a grow room is in the basement of your home. A basement is naturally insulated by the foundation and soil, so temperature management is easier. Remember, heat will be one of your biggest issues to overcome when you're growing indoors. A two-room setup is ideal for productivity and scalability. The first room is for vegetative growth, mother plants, and rooting your clones, while the second room is the flowering room where the marijuana crop is actually harvested. With a two-room setup, the vegetative room should be able to be one-fourth the size of the flowering room, and it should be an enclosed room to control the vegetative growing conditions. The floor in your indoor grow room ideally should have smooth, concrete floor that can be easily cleaned. Also, a floor drain can also be very handy when you have to clean your room after your harvest. Growing Methods and Watering Systems there are a variety of ways to grow marijuana indoors, from potting soil to hydroponic systems, so you have a lot to choose from. Each has its own advantages, and which one you choose is down to your growing environment and your personal preference. Larger marijuana grow rooms have a greater water demand. You will want to make sure you have adequate and convenient access to water, so a faucet that you can run hot and cold water from a water hose is ideal. How much and often you need to water your plants will depend on the method or system that you are using to grow marijuana. Most hydroponic shops will offer complete kits with good advice, but do not mention marijuana and only talk about quote-unquote tomatoes. Since they have the same growing necessities as marijuana, it is for your safety and legally for them they cannot talk to you about cultivating marijuana. The best lighting to use. The size of your marijuana grow rooms will determine your light setup. Take note how many lights and how much electricity will add up to your monthly energy consumption. For the lighting source, HID, also known as high intensity discharge lamps, are the best choice for most indoor gardeners. The size and number of HID lamps to be installed is based on the area of the marijuana grow room's setup. In using HID lamps for a grow room setup, heat will become one of your biggest problems. 
Small growers can use portable lights and adjust as needed. If your operation is larger in scale, you can hang grow lights from the ceiling joists as well. Air temperature, humidity, and ventilation. Constant air circulation, maintaining necessary humidity levels and fresh air is the absolute necessary for your room. Have at least one fresh air vent in the grow room and an oscillating fan is good for circulating air in marijuana grow rooms. Plants will germinate and grow better and more rapidly within a suitable temperature range. Your plants will use both light and CO2 for photosynthesis. Because of this, and also because of the heat buildup from powerful lamps, your grow room needs to be well ventilated to have fresh air and CO2 for your plants. The ideal temperature range for flowering and vegetating marijuana is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and seedlings particularly will benefit from heating mat beneath them to encourage strong root growth. Let's wrap it all together. Setting up marijuana grow rooms is exhausting. However, if it is done right, you will enjoy the benefits that you can reap from it. Remember, for perfect marijuana grow rooms, these take a lot of time and great consideration, such as the location, the size of the room, light, temperature, and humidity. Learn how to build your marijuana grow rooms and cultivate your medicine today and learn at greencultured.co.